Hi everybody and thank you for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to go through how to quickly and simply add a Google Calendar to your Moodle Calendar and synchronise events between the two of them. Uh, so I've got a couple of tabs open at the top, firstly our Moodle site and secondly our Google Calendar. And on the Moodle what we're going to do first is go to the Calendar block. Um, you can access this via the front page if you've got the block enabled or via the My Dashboard or My Moodle page which we'll just go through to now. And once on the calendar if you just simply click the month this will take you through to a few more settings around the, the calendar as well. Um, now depending on the theme that you're using, the interface may look slightly different, but you should have the main calendar view in the center with blocks down the left and or right hand side. And if we scroll down towards the bottom, we've got an option here to manage subscriptions. So if we click on manage subscriptions, and you'll see up at the top, we've currently got no kind of subscriptions. So everything in our Moodle calendar will purely be events that are in Moodle, whether that be homeworks or any other extracurricular events that might be going on. Now this is a new calendar so we'll give it a, a nice imaginative name and you leave the default set as import from calendar URL. This is I found the, the most simple way to do it. Um, it then requests the calendar URL for which we need to head over to our Google Calendar. So you will see on the left hand side I've got a number of calendars and we're going to use this one just down at the bottom which is holidays in the United Kingdom click on the little arrow next to the calendar name and go through to calendar settings. Now, you may have spotted or may have heard previously um, that, that Moodle supports iCal. So if we click the little green iCal button here and then simply copy and paste that URL that it gives you. Once we have that, back over to Moodle, paste that into the box and then you are done. There's a couple of settings that you can choose how often the, the calendar is updated and synchronized. Um, I'm going to go for daily, but you can sync it as often as, as hourly if needs be. Uh, we can ignore this ICS file because we went for the URL as opposed to the ICS up here. And then you can choose which type of event is it. So this is simply for the individual user as opposed to a course event or a site-wide event, but different users on Moodle will have different access rights to do that. Select add and it shows us our number of events that have been imported or if it was a, a calendar that already existed, how many perhaps have been updated and you can see the details of that just there. Using the breadcrumb, we'll head back through to our calendar and we can see the first of our events that's been pulled through. St George's Day on the 23rd. So go to our calendar and you can see St George's Day there. In May we've got a couple of bank holidays and a regional holiday and likewise in Moodle it's pulled those few events for us. So it's as simple as that. Any questions please feel free to get in touch and I hope that's been useful. Thank you.